Hey y'all, uh, Siegel here, back with another part of Silent Hill 3. Sorry, it's been a while. Uh, I was trying to, you know, play some other stuff for a little bit there, but we were back recording. Um, or, I mean, the t the 10th part hasn't even gone up yet as of this recording. So, you'll see that one, and then... Um, but yeah, in the last part, we made our way to Silent Hill, and now we're, uh, we were told by Douglas to go to the hospital for some reason, so now we're here. Uh, there's some nurses outside of this door, which I'll have to go back and kill. But for right now, we're in the save room. Okay, we can't go that way. Okay, examine this board. No? Okay. Alright, let's uh, venture back in. God, I don't like their fucking noises. I wish they would stop. Kick. You get a kick. You get a kick. Okay, I can at least hear myself fucking think now. Jesus. How much time much handgun bullets do I have left? Okay, maybe I will take out my katana. Just... I'm not, I'm not a fan of the melee combat in this game, but I also need ammo. So, I uh, will refrain from shooting. There's a memo posted on the refrigerator. Food only. Do not store drugs. I wonder if it's okay to store health drinks in here. I got a health drink. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I will not try and go through those yet. There's nothing of interest on the top of this desk. Okay. There's stuff written on the whiteboard, but none of it really matters to me. Okay. Alright. All right, both locks are broken. So, I don't know about y'all, but I am not a fan of hospitals in the slightest. Um, especially in a horror, uh, you know, sense. They are big no-nos for me. Okay, so that's one way we'll have to go. Oh, they're getting mangled by my sword, yeah! Oh, well, this does good damage. I don't know why I was shooting them. I found a use for the katana, because this wasn't doing dick before. Can you stop fucking spazzing on the ground? Shut up. You all get the stomps. Alright. Okay, I can take it. Fuck you. Fuck you. Think I'm scared? I ain't scared. Shut up. Shut up. I said stop. I said stop. I, I once again think this is just one of those rooms where there's nothing in here. It's just like, oh, hey, you walked in here. You better fucking walk out. Or if you're not a bitch, fucking handle your shit. I mean, I'm a bitch, but I still handle my shit. What is this? There are a lot of things stuck to the wall. A cookie, a toothbrush, a spoon, a Christmas card, a clock. Whoever it was probably, uh, whoever it was probably used glue. 
Why do these things? Nah, but why do this in the first place? I think this is a puzzle. There's a key glued to the wall. I'd love to take it with me, but it's really stuck tight. I can't even pull it off. I don't think I have any key mm -hmm. items on me at the moment. I have Dad's notebook. Dad wrote about my past in here. As always, this should be novelized. I didn't look at this before. I hope this will never come to any use. Maybe it's better if you never know. More than anything else, I fear the possibility of your going away. Far from me. But sometimes we have to tell the truth. That's why I'm writing this, before I'm lost in death and oblivion. What happened back then? That, was something to do... that has something to do with who you are. It all started 24 years ago, coming back from a vacation. My wife and I found a baby on the side of the highway. Since we were childless, we thank God for letting us meet this child, this girl. We took her home. Three years later, my wife died, and another four years later, 17 years ago, I came to Silent Hill. I heard the girl's pleas and took her with me, not knowing why she wanted us to go there. And it was there that the girl went away. Not that she actually went anywhere, nor did she die. Returned to her original self. That's what Dahlia Gillespie, Gillespie said? Uh, original self. That was uh, the young woman uh, burned by her mother as a sacrifice to God. Elisa uh, Gillespie. Half her soul escaped in those flames and went on to live in a baby. In that girl of mine, of ours. Seven years passed before that half a girl returned to Silent Hill and made Elisa whole again. Newly strengthened, she vowed to kill God. God, a fetus nestled into this sacrificial girl's womb, was summoned with the usual rites. This was Elisa's wish, no matter what the outcome, even if her own existence were at stake. But that wish was not granted. My interruption meant she prayed instead for the girl's return. I alone couldn't bring her back. Dahlia did it. I only helped at the birthing ceremony to bring God out of Elisa. Alessa? Is it Alessa? I'm going to say Alessa because that's how it's spelled. The newly born God wailed once and was dead. All from that girl's and probably Alessa's conscious resistance. That's not the end. After God had vanished in a glow of light, Alessa reappeared and gave me a baby. She looked a lot like that girl so long ago. And then Alessa was gone, dead. There was nothing I could have done to help. I simply clutched the baby to my chest and ran off. The whole thing felt like a dream, but I had proof that it wasn't. The girl was nowhere to be found, and in my arms, the baby. Now 17 years have passed. It feels like only yesterday, and again, it feels like a million years ago. I confess I had reservations at first about raising that baby. Could I love her? Her existence was thoroughly unexplainable. I thought she could be... No, just, God damn it. Sorry that I have my phone's on side. <laughs> um... I thought she could be that young woman who snatched away my beloved daughter that led to sadness, anger. There were times where I put my hands around her with tiny little throat. Several times I even considered abandoning her. That's what a terrible person I am. But I decided to raise her after all. I just couldn't seem to let her go. When she, when you look at me, you laugh. So even now I can't forget about that girl, but I love you. I have no doubt about that. That's all I ask you to believe. To my precious daughter, Harry Mason. Sad words, but also beautiful. All right, um, so we need something to remove the key from the wall. Okay, so there's another elevator that isn't responding. That's the room I came from. Um, yeah. And this one was l just locked. Yeah, let's see, what is this? This day has finally come. That's right. The day when you and I will meet. I was always thinking of you here in this gloomy cell. I never even knew your name or face until today, but now I know. I know you're the one I've been waiting for, and haven't you been waiting for me too? That's why you came to rescue me. Oh, how I love you, Heather. I want to give you my prized doll I made to commemorate our meeting. Start of this everlasting love. Ah, I can already see your smiling face. Stanley Coleman. Ooh. Disgusting. I won't touch that with a 10-foot pole. It's just a flower pot. Nothing special. I don't, I don't know what kind of plant it is. All right, um, okay, we didn't do anything with the doll, so I guess we'll just uh, move on from that. That's the save room. Um, oh, there were stairs somewhere that I didn't check. 
think. No, that door's locked. Um... Oh, I didn't check the kitchen, I guess. What door is that? No. That one's also locked. Okay. Um... I don't have any items. Oh, wait, what is that? What is that room right there? The E. Oh, elevator. I'm stupid. Oh, joy. More elevator shenanigans. Oh, fucking joy. Ugh. Okay, more locked doors. Nothing is new, nothing is new. Same shit, different location. That handgun ammo? No, it's just another fucking doll. You may not yet have realized your own true feelings, but you sense them unconsciously, and so you're trying to get closer to me. That's a virtue, the path to paradise. If the door is locked, open it. Use the password for the prison's gates. Doctor, I've forgotten his name. Anyway, that quack has it posted. He should be here too. I mean, four numbers would have been good enough, but he kept on going. Isn't it a shame? I'm not there. Uh, aren't you irritated? I long for you, but you're so cruel. Still, I want you, Heather. Stanley Coleman. Will she react to this doll, too? No, it's Stanley. No, 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 no. Okay, that door's also locked. What is that? Just an empty can, nothing important. No polish remover. Locker is closed tightly, I can't seem to get it open. Okay. Well, I believe the no polish remover is what we need for um, the thing, the key. So I will uh, go there in a second. There's a typewritten memo posted here. What's this supposed to mean? The first is larger than the second. The second twice the third. Third smaller than the fourth. The fourth is half the first. I am going to take a picture of this. Um... Because I am, I don't really feel like having to travel back here to remember this. All right, I will reference that later. Oh, oh, there's more. Four of the numbers are not repeated. Three are not in the top row. Two are not in the right row. One of the numbers is the final key. I don't know what any of this means, but is there? An... Okay, that's it. All right. Okay, so we need we need whatever combination that is for that keypad. Okay. Oh, I didn't check the nurse's station. Which one was that? Okay. Well. I don't know if you can tell, but I am unbelievably uncomfortable. More than before. <laughs> I may not be showing it, but yeah. Um, which room was it? It was not the visiting. It was ah, okay, it's at the end of the. Ugh, spooky games, man. Spooky fucking games. Like it's so crazy how a game can make you feel unsettled. That was not there before. Unless I'm blind. The organization has me shut up in here. They mean to break my will, to make me forget about all that. 
but I'll stay sane even if they throw me in here with lunatics. How about if I stick this to the wall? That would be worthless. You can peel it off, can't you? With that, eh, with that junk, those nasty wenches won't stop using. If a thing that has no meaning, there's no reason for it to exist at all, just as you exist for me. Why haven't you taken my doll with you? Ah, my gift must have embarrassed you. How cute you are, Heather. Stanley Coleman. Hmm. Maybe it was there and I just didn't see it, but... Nail polish remover. This takes off nail polish. I found it in the woman's locker room. I used the nail polish remover. I got a stairwell key. Uh, let's see. Quick. Stairwell key. This was stuck to the wall in the hospital room. The text says, office wing stairs. Alright. I'm gonna go back and save, just because we've read and done a decent amount of things. Well, there's another nurse in here somewhere. I don't see her, but I hear her. But that don't matter. All right, let's keep going. All right, it's just one of you. Yeah, get comboed. Yeah, get down. Shut up. Shut up. And one more shut up. Wait. Okay, I'm like, I can still walk into you, but you're dead. I think this is the stairwell. Yep. Uh. Uh. It's a wheelchair. Where's the person that was using it? I just heard something. But I got a submachine gun. I'm gonna equip that bitch. <laughs> Holds 32 rounds of ammunition. Great for its continuous fire. Oh... Man, fuck this game. Seriously. Seriously, fuck this game. Streaks of blood as something got dragged are continuing onto the back of the shelf. No, it's more like they start from the back of the shelf. I can't squeeze into there and there's no way I can move the shelf either. Blood trail continues into the elevator. Part of me wants to peek in, but then it's a little creepy too. Yeah. Don't give me that fucking camera angle again. Fuck off. Oh. Hate. I hate everything here. I hate it all. I'm scared. I won't even lie about it. I'm fucking terrified. Is that what you wanted to hear? I'm scared. I was already on this floor before. I don't think there's anything I can do on this floor unless... No, I need the keypad. I don't fucking... I don't know what the combination is. I hear things again. Oh, okay. It fucking loaded for a little bit of time. Why? Lock is broken. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, I'll waste my ammo on you. I don't give a fuck. 
I mean, it was probably a poor decision, but I don't even, I don't care. I don't care. I got, I got shotgun. I got, I got handgun. I got fucking stun gun. Niggas really need to not play with me right now. Ugh. Truthfully, truthfully, and I mean it. Oh man, fuck you. <sighs> okay. Flowing freely, your ebony hair like the night sky, scattering fragrance. My heart clamoring in my chest like a storm. You trifle with it. Your pristine glance like a feast when you smile. My thoughts disturbed, my breath like opium. It drives me mad. Eric, a great poet who conveys my feelings so well. I shouldn't have let this place get to me. Should have never gone crazy. But it's superbly enjoyable to drown in my love for you. But why won't you accept proof of my love? Don't stand on ceremony now. After all, you and I exist as one. What I give to you is the same as what I give to me. Stanley Coleman. I really hate this nigga. Can we kill him? There's a memo on the wall. Punishment for brutality towards patients. 12 hours confinement in the special treatment room. This mail policy, policy no longer in effect. Contact the chief if you have any questions. Something handwritten on top of the typewritten sentence. The trick is to not leave any marks. And one other thing. This looks like it was written by a different person. The chief is a pervert. Christy would have been better off if she had been fired. Uh, have we reached another save point? And another fucking doll, which I guess we'll read before we do anything else. Nothing but cleaning supplies. Stun gun battery, health drink, health drink. I've arrived, nothing I would need. Now just read, read the thing. Uh, Heather, my most sacred lover, I'm always watching you. No matter where you are or what you may be doing, I have never lost sight of you. I know you feel intensely lonely, yet with a single key to this door, those feelings won't stand in the way any longer. We haven't been able to see each other for so long, but patient, it's just a little longer. I'll be patient too, even though I long to hold you in these hands of mine. The key is behind the shelves in the underground garage. Why there? Ask that idiot doctor. That's not- there's not a single person here who's right in the head. Not just in this hospital, I mean in all of Silent Hill. Except me, Stanley Coleman. Alright, nigga, you fucking fucking- Fucking weirdo. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna save and... Uh, how long have we been going? Alright, that's definitely a good place to call it. Um, yeah, so in the next part, we will continue our way through the hospital. Hopefully come face to face with this Stanley Coleman so I can fucking slice his face in for being a fucking stalker, creeper, nigga. Um, I, I, I love this game, but god, this I do not like hospitals and this place is scaring the shit out of me. I will be completely transparent with you. I am terrified. The game's not doing anything but being spooky and I love that shit, but I also am terrified. <laughs> But it's good to get out of my comfort zone and, and record something. Like, it's good to keep get my fear on camera. But, uh, yeah. Um, in the next part, we will continue throughout the hospital. Um, but until then, I hope y'all um, enjoy the video. I hope y'all have been enjoying my content I've been putting out. I've been, you know, I've been trying a lot harder than I have in the past. I haven't been streaming. I've been just trying to record. I feel like recording is a lot better. I feel like I have a lot more fun when I record. I mean, streaming is cool, but... Because, you know, when you have an audience, you can, you know, be funny and entertaining on the fly. But putting up something about being able to edit out stuff is cool. <laughs> not that I really edit, ever edit out much. At least not in these videos. Um, but yeah. To the next part. Y'all have a nice day.